So here's some things. Um, these discs are in there as well. Disc C and Disc D of B-17 Flying Fortress by Micropose. Pros. Um, IBM version, 1982. So I don't have the whole game, apparently. I just have two discs of it. But let's see what's actually on the discs, because sometimes people would uh, take discs and put other things on it. If not, then I have half a game, I guess. Unless there's more discs than D. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are at the directory. I've it's actually two discs, and um, it was something called Mad Dog. And the only game named Mad Dog that I'm aware of is a game named Mad Dog McCree or something like that. Uh, it's a game where you shoot stuff. But it's like an old western, and you shoot stuff with your mouse and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so uh, but this doesn't look like that because it was on two discs. They're all zipped, and I unzipped it, and here it is. So let's uh, try it out. Important, when the wizard asks you questions about the map, just type anything. Oh, okay. We've disabled the off-disk copy protection. Hope you enjoy the game. Press any key. For hints and other information, Game Crafters, Adventures of Mad Dog Williams in the Dungeons of Duradin, Duradian. Copyright 1992 and 1996. Um, okay, so this is from the 90s. Let's make sure. Well, uh, he's, I love when they have uh, difficulty settings, especially when it's kind of funny. Easy, hard, pray for deliverance. I, I'm going with easy. I mean, easy. Okay. Change options. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, well, MT32 is nice, but I don't think I have DOSBox set up for that. So I'll just do the ad ad lib. All right. Okay. Music. Adventures of Mad, Mad Dog Williams in. Okay. The Dungeon Dungeons of Duradian. This is the first time playing the game, yes. Welcome, adventurer, to the world of Mad Dog Williams, a world of castles and kings and great dragons and lovely princesses. Many years ago, in the lands they're known as Duridian, there's this kind and gracious King Serac. Okay, let's okay, move on. I don't have time to read all the story. This is definitely 256 VGA colors, though. 1996, I would, I would assume it would be. Okay, there's King. Okay. Evil Demon, blah, blah, blah. King became evil. This is quite the intro scene. I've never seen a game that had quite the uh, elaborate intro scene like this. So I don't even know what kind of game this is. Is it an Adventures of Mad Dog Williams? Is it like an adventure game? I'm sure this background is really important for the story, but I don't know want to <laughs> spend all the time reading it, so I'm just going to skip through it. And here's some girl brushing her hair, for some reason. The graphics are very interesting because it's almost like a... Uh-oh, uh here's the evil guy going to kidnap the girl, maybe?
How many entries are the mouth screams? I don't know. I don't know. That is incorrect. Okay, oh, it is an adventure game, it looks like. Okay, let's see. Graphics are really weird because it's not like taking advantage of the full 356 color palette. Just, it seems like almost like a v EGA game they've upscaled a little bit and added a few more colors. Sudden splash of ice cold water awakens Mad Dog from restful sleep. So I guess a Mad Dog. This guy, okay, let's see. Um, it's kind of like a Sierra game. Let's see, let's, let's look in the mirror. That's a good looking chap. Let's see, what else we got here? Gotta open the drawers and stuff, usually in these kind of games. Let's see, let's look in the drawer. Get clothes. Okay, what is that? Is that a, a vase? Oh, I guess I dropped it. Uh, some boxes here. Maybe a sword. Sword. Yeah, okay. Box. What do we to get? Look shelf. Get blankets. Sad smoke signals, okay. Uh, boots. Not too heavy to lug around. Okay, so... It's kind of a Rube Goldberg kind of-esque alarm clock. Let's see what we got here. Okay, there's a chair. There's something on the table. Get bread, okay. This is kind of cool. It's got like almost like a seer game, but uh, not quite. I'm sitting in the chair. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, but I think you get the idea. It's an adventure game. This seems kind of like a fun game. I, if I had this back in '96, I would have played this a lot. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, let's see. Look counter. Is that like a money thing? Get mechanical device. The server and checks make sure it's ready. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Get sword. Okay, get that bottle. Get knife. It's all part of the inventory. Can't let you take that stuff. Okay, let's see what else we got here. So, oh, it's an antique store. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. An elf. Morsel of food. Oh, I have the bread. Get bottle. Okay, cool. This is kind of a fun game. Uh, I wonder what else it has. I mean, let's see. There's got to be something else going on here because it doesn't because it has like a health bar and stuff so it makes me think that there's some kind of rpg elements to it kind of like um, quest for glory or something like that leaving pirate advantage towards mad dog very menacing bite Press F1. Okay. attack just a second, let me read the help file. Okay, so I need to press shift. Uh. 
Just a second. <laughs> I hate Windows sometimes. That's another thing. Whenever you push Control and all at the same time in some games, which is used to, oh, to jump or attack or something. Yeah. Woo. Sometimes it it brings up things where it rotates the screen or something. It's very annoying. Well, let me search the body. I don't, well, let me search the body. No, there you go. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. I, the fight system is actually fairly, fairly good. I mean, it's better than some others I've seen. The first original Quest for Glory or Heroes Quest, as I had it as a kid, it, the fighting system was terrible. But I liked it anyway. Let's see. Pete's Pub. Let's go in here. You always got to talk to the bartender. So let's see. Beer sir. I had that, isn't that? Give beer server. Let's test out the beer server. Adjust server. Let's try this now. I can give you money, yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm getting beat up. <laughs> well, at least I didn't die, and your health does regenerate, so that's good. Uh, what's in this wagon? Looks like something in there. I get rope. Awesome. Well, I think you get the idea. This is kind of a Sierra-esque adventure game. And um, it's kind of fun. So let me just check out some more of this game. Now I'm wandering through the forest. This is an interesting game because the color palette is very limited. But yet... Um, It's very limited, but... Oh, I died. <laughs> uh, I guess we start. So it isn't one of those games that you can't die in. Oh, and I don't want to do everything. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, um, I should have saved it. The, the keys are almost like the Sierra ones. Um, with F5 being, I think, save or whatever. And the... It's very similar, but um, there's some new commands that are kind of cool, like tab will bring up the last phrase that you read, and things like that. Um, anyway, like I was saying, uh, this game has uh, is interesting, and it's kind of one of those games that you'd probably spend hours on, and you could, if you get stuck, you'd probably just look up a guide. I don't, I look, never heard of this game before, so I've looked up guides before on other games when I didn't was stuck, but um, this might be a fun one since I've never played it before and can try and check it out. Um, Mad Dog Williams, I guess the adventure of Mad Dog Williams. Anyway, um, if you like this video, uh, subscribe, uh, like, comment. YouTube is kind of being dumb right now because um, I used to get about you know five or six dollars in ad revenue a month on my channel. Not very much, but it's it's kind of fun, and uh, I have other AdSense revenue, so it does add up, and I can cash it out usually every couple of months, which is just kind of fun. Um, 
but now they've changed it so that you have to have a thousand subscribers and get 4,000 4, hour views per year, which is something I'm far from since I have like 30 something subscribers right now. But anyway, if you, uh, I'm still planning on making these videos, so please subscribe and uh, yeah, see you next time.